Okay, so real quick, we're going to go over how we anchored this box, this football box down. There are three directions that I went. First was inside the open part of this box, about a half an inch of tape all the way along the side, at least three or four inches. Okay, so this part of this football box is connected nicely. And then this is my favorite trick for if you can't wrap around the sides of the box, okay? You're going to put tape on the front face of this little thing and connect it to the base on the inside of the box. That means we have to remove any loose paper because I need a nice strong structural connection for this box to be anchored to the floor. And I, in order to anchor it to the floor, I also need for it to be anchored on like the front face and the side face two connections at 90 degrees makes it so that it won't twist inside the box. Okay, so a small half inch piece of tape right here on the top piece, then down the face of the box, right butted up to the front of the box, and then out about three inches. There's one piece of tape, okay? I already put that down. It won't lift up on the front. And then I rotate the box this direction so now I took a piece of tape from the very tippy top of this box, all the way down the side, made sure it was snug next to the base of this box, football box, and then down along the brown cardboard piece here. Okay? About three inches in this direction. That's a nice secure thing. It's not gonna twist on the bottom. Now what I do notice is that this football box wants to move away from this box. So there's a couple things we can do we can take a nice piece of tape, wrap it around the face of this box, along the side, and this box is a little bit in this direction from this box, so I'm going to leave a little bit of an angle, but I'm going to tug it as tight as I can around the back, very back of the box, all the way back here. Okay. Now that box doesn't want to twist away in that direction. Joint. And there you go. Okay. That's decent. Okay. We're going to put in a piece of paper to the sky of the box. And then add in our tea. Again, no loose pieces. Not even this. It's a little bit heavy. We still don't want it to fly away or fall off when this box is moved, right? That would be such a bummer if a kid lost a piece. So, I'm going to try to connect it in two different spots. Let's try around the front base of it. I often will loop a piece of tape all the way around the toy because a lot of times the tape doesn't stick to the actual toy itself. And, but the, the tape will always stick to itself. So I'm going to stick that in there and then to the base of this football. Okay. And then see how that wants to move side to side? We can't have that, right? We can't have that. So now I'm going to do the same loop around. Okay. So this T is loose but it's looped the tape to tape connection at the front and all the way around the front and then it's looped tape to tape connection around the back and then connected to this uh, sorry football that is securely connected to the bottom of the box so even though it can wiggle it's not going to go anywhere even the smallest objects that are pretty light I still like to anchor them in two places if possible so even though it can wiggle and it's not trying to support anything it will never fall out Okay. The next thing I want to put on here is this little text box. My video cut out, so I'll explain what I did. Took a piece of tape, maybe three or four inches long as front, down at a 45, okay? Wrap around under the corner, 45 degree down angle along towards the back, and then on the back, down at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to want to put some things back here between above the hoops thing. 
So I can't take a piece of tape up here. So I'm going to do a second piece of tape down here, but I'm going a different direction. This part was down at a 45 degree angle. This time I'm taking it horizontal. So it's about a two or three inch piece of tape on the front, two or three inches here. Wrap it around just about straight back as close to this piece because it's nice and tight. And then two inches straight, 90 degree along the back here. That makes it really super secure in this corner. I could lift it all the way up here, but it was super wiggly on this side. This was really floppy. So in order to get a strong connection, I took a piece of tape about eight inches long here, all the way down, and then the full width of the box about two inches back here. Because Okay, and then went ahead and anchored in this blanket. The blanket had a loop on it, so I hooked the tape through here and connected the tape to itself. Tape almost never sticks to the fabric. So loop that through, put the tape along, along the bottom. Again, because the tape won't stick to fabric, I'm not really gonna tape on this part, but this front, front uh, advertisement is plastic. So I ran a piece of tape from here on the face all the way down the side here by a couple inches. This is a blanket, it's really light, so I didn't go like eight inches and wrap all the way around the back. Um, but because when I was shook it, I wasn't super pleased with how secure it was from just the fabric loop and this, took another piece of tape, basically opposite end, all the way down here, two inches up here, all the way along the front and down here, this direction, two inches. Now it's connected in three places, it's nice and secure. Next, I'm going to go for the Koosh game. Let's see. Okay, so we're tucking the Koosh game on top of the hoops, behind the little tykes, and at approximately a 45 degree. This is pretty light, so it's a great option. It's big and it's light, so it's going to draw attention and um, it's not likely to fall off. I might grab this koosh off and connect it up here, actually. That's one thing. We always want to display the features of the object as best as we can. Let's see if we can get it connected, disconnected. I'm actually leaning on this little bit of tape that I have from the front of this uh, little tax box to back behind the pro hoops that connected these two front and back. I did that because it just didn't feel stable. It was wiggling, right? So now that gives give me a little bit of a ledge to lean this kush on while I'm working with it. Okay. Don't fall, kush. Don't fall. Again, I like to grab inside of packaging if possible. It's not often possible, but we do what we can. All along the back. Okay. I'm going to grab that over here as well. This is, I'm grabbing the packaging behind the paddle handle. Okay. And sometimes it's not worth fighting with the tape. I'll grab another piece. This is the better part of Valor. Okay. In front of the packaging, behind the paddle handle, and then Okay, the next piece to cure is this flag football kit. So I went from the front face of this little tykes box underneath almost like a hammock, this part of the flag football kit along the back, kind of at an up angle a little bit. That really was support, but it wasn't adhering to the box. So I took another piece, made sure it was touching this box underneath again, and went up again. That happened to snag it here. I was concerned that it was wiggly on this side, this side, 
So I took a piece of tape from behind here in between the racket and the flag football kit down along the front face, front face of this little tykes. Okay. And then one last little bit for extra insurance that this is, this is a lot of connection here, very little support on this box. So I'm going to drag it all the way from up here down along the back side of the box. Okay. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> Almost done. Okay. We have a nice Contigo mug or thermos. It fits really nicely and securely in here. Okay, there were just a couple more items that I added in here. We added in our big Contigo picture, pitcher or water bottle. I used this little handle. It's kind of shaped like an anchor. So I took a piece of tape, attached it under behind this loop, behind the T-shape along this side tape to tape connection and then all the way down the side about six inches because it's a nice heavy bottle and then I came around this handle tape to tape connection around because it's a rubber handle tape will never stick to that tape to tape connection and then drag that tape over the top of the blanket helping secure the blanket even and along the side of the box about six inches and then the last thing I connected here is these minions tennis balls and I went along the front surface nice and neatly so you can still read the print and then wrap that around the back about six inches took another piece of tape to the side of the logo if possible between the minions and the couche paddles down along the back let me show you that technique real quick okay so I have it nice and flat. I'm going to put it to the front face of the minions here. Squeeze it in between there. Okay. Then I'm going to rotate the tape 90 degrees, so it's going down. But I'm keeping this tape nice and wide open, and then I'm going to drag it down. That's how I make a 90 degree turn with the tape, but I still maintain a lot of tension on here. There's a lot of structural integrity with that. Even if you don't want to tape every single little piece down like that, at least stack it visually and structurally as well as you can and have somebody else help you tape it down.